Welcome to the bronze round of the Wisdom of Todd tournament. 1,000 total dollars in the prize pool. 200 and 100 here for the winner and loser of this bronze match. It's the best of seven and Soup elected to go with Loki. And who did Ulysses choose? Click. <laughs> Loki, okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got Ulysses going Loki as well, man. Is this is this just a little teaser for Fimba Winter 4? Hello, mama. It Loki is, mirror, is. baby. Well, Loki is super good on Arctic Craters, and it's a mm. pre-prescribed map, so the players had no choice in this. It's a, an admin choice, but from here on, every map will be picked by the players. Whoever loses the game picks the next map. So, starting off on a bit of an even footing. Well, literally even footing. It's Loki mirrors, right? Although, the outcomes of of the Hersir fights could swing either direction. It really depends on how much favor each Hersir is, is carrying on them. Uh, before they do a summon. Well, indeed. Now, having said that, Loki, in my opinion... Um, I've chosen Loki on this map. I haven't played a lot of tournaments, but I like playing... Um, Loki on this map just because of how open your base could potentially be plus there's a lot of hunt so if you got map control you got access to tons and tons of hunt so for SETI play is pretty darn strong here in my opinion yeah of course um, it's basically required in my opinion it's that good <laughs> well having said that uh, <laughs> soup soup is mr let's go aggressive rusher boy so yeah his old what time is it Zolfsark is a little out of position for making a forward temple. It looks like he's probably going to go back and go for Seti himself, but okay, fine. Maybe my comment is a little bit late, but, you know, initially I wouldn't have been surprised if um, he decided to go for aggressive Heimdall. Not this game, though. Not this game, apparently. Yeah, you know, this map is so big and so open, I think just traversal itself requires it. But I would love to see, you know, a different approach there with, um, with Heimdall just plowing through the towers. Sometimes they're close enough to each other that an Undermine can reach two towers. So ah. that's a fantastic opening you can make there. Although I suspect this time. people would rather aim it at the temple and the tower. It's probably a better way to do it. It's not like there's a damage limit on that thing. It's... The way it works, Undermine is funny. It's like an invisible ram getting used in the game. Uh, yeah. It's tricky. And it just has some crush damage and no limitations. So the uptime is the limitation. Mm. Well, so something that's important on this map is that there's two starting gold mines, kind of like Ghost Lake, kind of like Frozen Waste. Um, two starting gold mines, so. Again, there's a lot of hunt. Um, it's going to be really important for these guys to be, at the very least, keep their own hunt safe. Potentially try and do some damage on the opponent's hunt. Yeah. I I predict we're probably just going to see. I mean, obviously, we're going to see mass hers here from you know from both of them. A heroic timing, maybe you know a heroic timing, and it's likely just going to come down to the RNG of whatever um, myth units the the Hersir spawn. Maybe one of the players can get you know can get a can get a raid, a better raid on the economy compared to the other. Maybe, maybe I don't know, but it is fairly easy uh, to get out of position against such fast units. So you do a little bit of a yeah. raid group thingy, and that can go a long way. Just hide them by sending them around the map. Can use the edges. Oh. Super the double temple again. <laughs> Classic. Why well, though? I guess I like. <laughs> well, I mean, you can you can theoretically get the get the second temple up earlier since you can start building it before you're in classical. Yeah, there it rather is. Rather than waiting for the longhouse. There we go. So a little bit what faster for her in production. Nice. Yeah, exactly. Did he? What? Did you see which relic he gathered? Or, by the way, let's check. Uh, we got the Vegetai, cheaper Mifunets, stacking with okay. Loki's. That's minus twenty percent now. Now the relic nice. itself being ten, Loki's bonus being ten. 
And by the way, did you guys know that that discount actually applies to the summoning mechanic? Oh? Oh yeah. Really? Yes, the way it works is that the Hearthseers individually gather that favor from attacking enemies. Right. And as their favor meter builds up, if, if they get to the pre-selected Mifunet's um, overall cost, which is now reduced by the Relic and Loki himself, then uh, upon a kill, they'll be able to summon that Mifunet if population space is available. Wow. So I now... I have no idea. I've explained the whole thing. Nice. <laughs> That's potentially big, man. Like, in 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 a big Hersier, mass Hersier fight, you know, depending on what you spawn, if you get, like, a bunch of Einherjar spawns compared to trolls, just depending oh, yeah. on what you spawn, the type of unit you spawn is very important. Again, it's just luck. It's just R and, you know, random. But also, the timing is also super clutch. So the fact that Soup could, you know, potentially be spawning a whole lot more um, myth units in big fights, that's that's really important, dude. That's game changing even in in a in a mirror matchup like this. Agreed. I really like that little troll war on the side. That was cool. Mhm. Mm nice for uh, your listeners. Let's check the it. other relics real quick cuz these hearses have easy access to them, right? We've got the Flagstone of Buchen, that's cheaper walls. We've got Harter's Folly, that's scout line of sight, Osark in this case. We got the Bridal of Pegasus, that's a free Pegasus. And the Trojan Gate Hinge for Wall HP. Honestly, these are not really worth going for. I'd rather commit to raiding here. Yeah, if anything, it's just like a distraction. You want your attention yeah, on yeah, yeah. microing rather than the relics. <clears throat> Olaf Sapblood. Yeah, that's, dude, that's exactly what, like, Loki mirrors on a big map can come down to. It's like, oh, look at that funny Hurser name. <laughs> Ooh. They are funny, you know. Oh, yo, 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 he does a long house. Didn't quite work out. Slippery boys. <laughs> Dar Horps, Horse Doubter. I mean, I'd be doubting about horses as well here. Hurser, mm. better unit. <laughs> you aren't flame like or keep this guy alive until we're in the heroic cage. Curious what he'll do about it. <laughs> that guy gets extra attack during flame and weapons. Flame like or <laughs> what? <laughs> and these names are coming from before the era of generative AI. Kudos to the peoples. What is the population? 85 to 85? Dude, these guys yes, are sir. right on the money between, like with each other. Speaking of the money, Sue better spend some resources on houses. He's mega housed right now. Uh, mm. Please. You'll fall so far behind if you don't do it. It's problematic. Awkward fight there. Awkward. Not too bad though, okay. Two trolls here to help out a little bit. Uh, at, the, at the point, we'll get to a stage where they just take population and they're not actually a convenient thing to have. Like you said, you want those unharrier spawns so that they boost up the actual Hersier rather than anything else. A lot of players just auto... Um, depends on the situation, but you know, just auto-delete trolls sometimes when they spawn. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a difference, by the way. Um, you see how Ulysses is starting to mix in throwing Axemen? So mm -hmm. that is a difference between um, the fact that Soup went for Double Temple versus Longhouse Temple of Ulysses. And of course, like, Soup can always just build a dadgum Longhouse, but still, these tiny, tiny little differences. Those throwing Axemen could maybe potentially, in a in a big fight, if they can stay protected, they can maybe... Be nice for Ulysses. It also gives him a little bit more food, although both these guys are probably clicking up heroic right now, so that's negligible. Okay, yeah. Froggy for both. Okay. Proper mirror matchup, man. This is... Mega mirror. Even the Froggy yeah. timing is almost the exact same. We got the Pegasus for Ulysses. Why not? 
Well, if you are going to pick up one of those other relics, it might as well be the Pegasus. It uh, doesn't take any population, so it's like having a raven. He likes to watch. <laughs> he likes to watch the slippery hearse here. Jeez. <laughs> oh, oh hey. we got one hearse here going after the Oxcart. That is always spawns the troll. Are you kidding me? Oh. That is such okay. a big deal. But there are defenders, so good news. Still could probably suicide these two into killing the ox cart. That would be a big move in my opinion, especially during an age up so yeah. annoying. You can't just make another ox cart then. Uh Soup getting a little bit too fancy with his positioning. Can he actually get the good flaming weapons off here? Doesn't quite look like it. There's also a battle board to worry about. And all these throwing axes, yeah. man. This is not a good fight. He's gonna have to run for it. It's a big, big difference um, when you get a chance, knock a big difference. I know that Soup got the um, the first armory upgrade, the hack armor upgrade. Um, I'm curious to see if, yeah, if Ulysses, Ulysses does not, okay. No, he's got so ice right in the forest, that's it. Yeah. Which so actually, the, the Soup doesn't. So if it comes down to it, are those, I can't quite tell, are those heavy, are those heavy throwing action? Uh, no, those are medium. Okay, okay, okay. Also, now Ulysses has the armor upgrade, but Soup is already getting bronze. That's mm. awesome. I maybe see a potential flaming hot sandwich happening right here. Let's go. Mm, that's hot. Oh, delicious. Did she click this? too early? A lot of these Hersher are tied around in the back, but that's a lot of favor reward from killing the trolls, so... Yo, know, these hearsers are packing a punch for sure. Okay, so the th the throwing axeman could maybe be good in this fight. Let's see if the battleboard can soup can get the battleboard back there around. Maybe the Valkyrie as well. Oh, There's wow. also oh an iron spawn as well for both players. Yes. That battleboard is a huge game changer as he um, kicks the throwing axeman up. Yeah. The ox cart has been killed! That's such a huge deal. The income of Ulysses is in the gutter right now. Nasty business. Better send out two or three ox carts to just make sure that those guys keep going. They're Stay cheaper the anyway, I might as well. Yeah, Soup also doing the right thing of running away while Flaming Weapons remains active for Ulysses. Will he be able to take this TC? Probably not. I, I think that's a little ambitious. <laughs> Probably, yeah. And uh, you know what? Probably it's better to go just go Mythic because every age up comes with a Perseer upgrade that's arranged in the shadows. It's not actually a visible thing. It's just it just happens. Oh my goodness! All the battle boars get spawned. That wow. is so fortunate. The myth unit that gets selected is completely random, right? It could be for a from any age before and in the current one, from any minor god. So getting four battle boards like that is a huge deal. They're probably one of the best options. Fire giants as well. Uh, sorry, mountain giants as well. And frost giants. This is actually both players getting pretty lucky with that. But Soup had a few more units. It's the throwing axemen that are changing the Hersier situation around. And once there's no more Hersier, exactly. the Mephian's a toast. Dude, I think that's a little blunder by Soup. He he had all those battle boars, as you can see, the dead bodies. All those battle boars were on the right hand side, and Ulysses had that little ball of throwing axemen. They're just they're just sniping her seer left and right, man. That was huge for um Ulysses to keep those guys alive. I agree. You know, getting those battle boars on the throwing axemen is really one of the main jobs that they should have, in my opinion. Another possible task would be to go after those ox carts, which are not mm. terribly strong. Don't have a whole lot of resistance either, so uh, these boys could definitely mess them up pretty good. Um, Indeed. That rune upgrade is actually not in yet. Uh, Turisaz rune. Never remember the exact name, but 12% myth unit speed. Very nice for the battle boars. And it's a wood cost thing, so could totally go for it. Oh, the oh, gold dude. miners are in trouble. That's 10 dwarfs right there. It's a big portion of Soup's economy. And Ulysses is going to quick wall this. 
Holy moly, that is awesome. I oh, am not dude. sure these guys can escape. They're running. They're running. Those little door flags. Uh, 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 come on. Oh, the <laughs> long house. Oh, so God, long. Dude. And thanks for all the gold <laughs> and favor. So long. That is a nice raid right there by Ulysses. Very nice raid. St Soup still has gold in the bank. and Ten but, dwarfs, you man. Know, he's, yeah, that's that's negative ten dwarves. What, is it going to get the tenth, I think? Oh, he's working on it still. Ah, <laughs> going to run from the towers. Fair enough, fair enough. But, you know, Ulysses has a hundred favor. He could plop down a temple right here and start making fire giants into the base and gold starve. Mm -hmm. I would Hell, love man. to see that. Hell yes. <laughs> I see what you did there. Now we can't ignore. I know this is, dude. This is this is ultra sketchy for Soup right here, especially with Hell coming in. Um, I mean, by all means, Soup is getting a little bit of counter damage on the top side. There's a little bit of something Oi. going on up there. Yeah. What is this? Oh, wait. Are they gonna stop it? <gasps> so. This is gonna be close, Maiden. Oh my goodness. The Hersey are in. I'll go for the repair, man. Do you not gonna kill the battle boars? Holy crap! 99%! Oh, oh, 100! Oh, he dude, freaking stop. denied it! <laughs> there is no way! What just happened? You <laughs> just be like, why that. am I so rich? <laughs> <laughs> complete disbelief he's running away with what little is left oh my goodness that was so huge this play from soup just turned around the entire series in my opinion this is gonna be such a big tilting moment for Ulysses look at all this stuff coming across the map now the Hersher will be able to get on top of that TC and hammer it a little bit buying time for the mountain giant to arrive bonkers business you have got to be kidding me, dude. You have got to be kidding me. I've never seen, I've never seen something closer than that. It, it, it's like a hundred, it was like at a hundred percent, but it just d d d d lag. I don't know what happened. I, I can't even believe there that. is a, a one second delay before the actual mythic age thingy is granted. That's, that's what happened. A hundred and one percent. You basically need a hundred and one percent. You're right. <laughs> There he goes! Attempt number two! Hell! 5%! 6%! <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. I, I've never seen something closer than that. That's insane. I've, I can't even believe it. But it that. can't be closer than that. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> That's the crazy part. It's impossible for anything crazier to happen. That's super. Yeah, by all you. means. <laughs> well, Soup is still gonna be down. He's still gonna be down in age. Right, he's still, he's actually, yeah. Soup is ahead on villagers. So remember, like that entire two minutes that Mythic was coming in, Ulysses was not producing any villagers. So despite that big raid that Soup took on the chin, the dwarves dying, he's ahead in villagers. He's gonna be behind an age, but he's ahead in villagers. That's something. It's something. Still. What a game, man. What a game. This is the way to start a series, baby. Alrighty then. I like those heavy throwing axemen as well. That's gonna help a lot against the Hersher, but the problem is they keep spawning the mythics and then they mess up the throwing axes, so you gotta have you gotta have a healthy mix there. Mm-hmm. A healthy mix. You just can't stop with the puns, can you? <laughs> <laughs> you you got me with that one. That was an intentional. <laughs> Unintentional pun. That's how good you are, man. You're I just I usually on intend them. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine saying no pun intended. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> pun always intended. Oh! Okay. Oh, that's a juicy one. Okay, we got a million villagers here. I, I counted. It's 100 million. And the Nithog is going to be a huge issue for them. There's no counter right now besides throwing axes and, well, maybe trolls. If you really want yeah. to... Uh, want to... Go for the stretch there. Thing is, Ulysses' is Hersey are now 182 health and have more damage as well than those of Soup. Although well, Soup has nice upgrades, bronze weapons. Mm. Makes up for it. 
Supers up hell himself, man. It's he's 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 very behind, but still, eventually he can get his own Nidhogg up to try and counter that. It's gonna take time though. He needs he needs a gold eco ASAP. I don't know. This is sketchy, man. This is sketchy for him. Again, you said he's got good upgrades. He's got good upgrades, but if you don't have a double two two fortified TCs, very nice for Ulysses, man. This game could still go either way. Soup is up on villagers. He's down on total population, but he's up on villagers, up on armory upgrades. Sketchy gold income. This game is still wide open, in my opinion. Yeah, 100% agree. Once again, though, Ulysses' ox cart is about to be lost. Where's that Drake, man? We huh. gonna get the other gold miners or what? Kind of gonna that go over the flowing axis. Where is the axe of most spell upgrade? That's so important right now for Soup. He doesn't no have here. it. No, nope. he does He's not, not have it. Getting it. And the villas are about to be roasted. Oh. Oh, it's making me hungry. Ooh, Oof. I would eat a dwarf. A roasted dwarf? Dude, that hurts, man. From one gold to the next. And look, on the on the left-hand side, Ulysses is also walling up those gold mines. Yeah, that... is gonna be an issue. Okay. Same fit the fire giants. How do you beat the fire giants right now? Sure, you got a bunch of hers here, but these guys are protected by throwing Axemen. Yeah. They can also hit the battle boards, no problem, even on the run. Dude, those throwing axes are gonna melt if the special attack goes off with five fire giants. Are you kidding me? This is gonna be the nastiest thing ever. Oh, who here it comes? Yikes! Okay. Oh, ooh, the money shot. The money shot. This is what I live <laughs> for, man. This business is great. Uh, okay, Nitog going to town on those other villagers. Throwing axes next. They do have Axe of spell, so a little bit of spread yeah. formation action would be great to see, but then the Hearst here are also here to slap that remaining health out of them. Oh, the remaining dwarves are going <laughs> oh. down, though! Fire Giant as well getting spawned. He throws the fire at the wall? Anyway, the dwarves are dead, so it doesn't matter. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. I'm a little bit surprised that... Eh, maybe I'm not all that surprised. Ulysses could have turned around with all those axes and five or however many fire giants and maybe pick off that uh, soup's Nidhogg, maybe. Uh, let's go with the bong sticks. <laughs> Is he going to burn those vills as well? Potentially. There we go. Get him. Get him. They're oh. in serious trouble, but there's the garrison. Good stuff. TC remains at half health. You know, Soup can definitely make something happen there. There's absolutely no one mining gold right now for Yuli, so that's a big issue. He's got a bunch of gold in general. And his dragon is also chasing these villas around. Neither player can afford stuff, but it's the worst situation for Soup. 100%. Yeah. 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 Still, man, I still think this game is pretty open. He's got a lot of wood, so if, in a, if he... Wait, whoa! Soup is on 52, 49 population. Uh, okay. That's that's no bueno. That is no bueno. I was gonna say that he could maybe sell a bunch of wood to keep the, um, you know, keep the gold situation going for himself. He still has Nidhogg, as we can see right here. There's still options for Soup, but... Bro, he's on 34 vills, 39 population. This is no bueno for soup. There's more raids, Maiden. They never end. That's what this matchup yeah. is about, and soup can't take it anymore. Even though he got that 99.9 .9 or 100% skip, whatever that was, uh, destroying the town center, denying the mythic, it's not enough by itself. So Ulysses' raids were just a little bit too good. Uh, he ends up with a 13 villager advantage at the end. Fantastic game, and those fire giants sure paid off too. That was a nice little Loki war, dude. A lot of people criticize Loki war, saying that it's, you know, just complete luck, the random spawns, blah, blah, blah. And I agree with that, but at the same time, I don't know, they're, they're dynamic. They're, they're, they're dynamic. They're, I, I, I still like them. I still like them. 
This was a good one in my opinion. I think this was a good one. Nothing else, they are really wild and entertaining. <laughs> so, Tropic Kilometer Raj. Soup says this is a four kind of map. Let's see what he can do with it. That's surprising. Um, I think this is the maybe the more you know encouraging pick here. We got Ulysses here in the red. He's Aranos, right? Look, yes. Pretty sure he's Aranos. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, Thor against Aranos, man. Um, playing against Aranos. If if I'm gonna play Norse, uh, I like Thor, but a little sketchy. The good news for Soup, if you look in the base, um, there are. T oh, just kidding. Never mind. Um, I, I was Sorry. looking at Soup's. I was Soup's looking at base. Soup's base. I was like, oh, there's two gold mines looking at the minimap. But no, oh, no, no. no, no. no. <laughs> it's, it's the Dwarven gold mine. He's cheating, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whoops. No, no this good. is sketchy, man. This is sketchy, like, for, for Thor, in my opinion. Um, it's, like, by all means, if you get a good hunt patch, then you can get, you can do a decent job fighting against Aranos. Um, you know, you can get, like I said, we were talking about this in the, um, in the grand final series. Um, Thor is able to, Thor is a lot better on Vubli since, um, the Dwarven Mine has more gold. So you can age up classical without having to build an ox cart. So it just helps with your advanced times, helps, you know, you get your longhouses going, just helps you early in the early game a whole lot, a whole lot, um, faster, better, etc. So it's not as bad as it has been in the past, but still, um, it's still it's pretty unnerving playing against Aranos. Um, For pretty I think much the, any the, faction, yeah. Well, yeah. The food, I think the food situation is going to be mm -hmm. very, very important for Soup. It's good, it's good zebra patch right there. It's close to his base. Good zebra patch. Yeah. Hopefully that's it's going to be good enough. There's typically a fair amount on Tropical Mirage, so that isn't a concern in and of itself. It's that Uranus takes over the map and just floods you at any location you're trying to gather anything at all. So that's yeah. what you got to worry about. And with the gold mines being together with the food, there's a good risk that... Um, both could be denied at the same time. So Soup is like, yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on the offense with this one. Forward Temple against Uranos. Really looking forward to this. I like it, man. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. It's ballsy. It's risky, but you know, Soup, Soup makes this kind of aggression work. I like it. It kind of turns the, it turns the paradigm or the dynamic of this matchup on its head a little bit. Um, how a lot of Thor players or players in general play against it is, um, you know, try and just defend your hunt, defend your hunt, play defense, you know, blah, blah, blah. But Soup turns the matchup on its head and decides to, yeah, get an early advance. Nice. Get an early advance and go for, go for the aggression. Make, make Aranos play defensive rather I than like aggressive. Yeah. I like it. Make a well. bunch of Perseus early. You'll spawn the Valkyrie basically on location for attacking. And you know what? Ulysses' temple... It's a 430, it looks like. Yeah. So Soup has plenty of time here to to actually deliver a blow. See how strong of fun it will be. We got the Trios bow as a relic. Probably don't want the Atlantean to have that. Two extra range on Terma. Sounds annoying to me. Ah. Or Arcus. I mean Arcus are already a little sniper. Arcus, man. yeah. Does that affect Carbalista? I can't uh, remember. I believe it does, yes. So Atlantean gets three units upgraded with that. That's bonkers. Wow. Hades can do that, but that's it. Anyway, the Hearths here are now full power level. And like you said, playing the Atlanteans game. Get them off yeah. of Hunt. Not let them do it to you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Like Where's it, man. Fire? It's only hitting the manor. Oh my god, he calculated this. This is math at work. <laughs> the power Soup of science. Soup is a teacher. <laughs> what does he teach? Do you know? I think he might teach math. I'm not even joking. Seriously? That's <laughs> yeah, great. Serious. I can't remember, but yeah, I think he might be a math teacher. <laughs> <laughs> This is sick, dude. This is sick, potentially. Well, I mean, it depends well, on who you want to win here, I suppose. He doesn't need to deal with calculus in the classroom, but he sure does in AOM. 
He's taking Ulysses to school. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> hey, this Valkyrie is doing the tanking for the hearse here, which is actually also great. Valkyrie can do this all day. Hearse here, not so much. But that temple is at serious risk. We've got plenty of Ossarks now flooding into this. I love the rotated buildings, by the way. Very stylish. <laughs> Maybe he's also teaching fashion at the school. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, uh, temple's getting wrecked. How much longer can it hold? Not very, I don't think. No repair. Ulysses needs every little bit of gold he can possibly get, and can these units actually hold? Mm, those wolf sarks and hers are super spooky, man. Is that oh 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 when you get a chance over on that right hand side, is there a is there a citizen on the gold Ah yes. clutch? Verily, and the buildings clutch. can't see it. It's way too far off. Bet soup wishes that he hadn't just walled, but also put something to his spot. Now he's starting to lose some units, and this could be problematic as the Mermillo and term account is starting to run. Oh, okay, that did Good. get shockwave. Good. He loses a lot of units to shockwave. I've seen better shockwaves, but eh, that's nice. Actually, that is really nice. Now that he's forcing Soup to retreat, re uh, Soup, they're on about equal population, but still, uh, the army of U um, Ulysses, it's looking pretty good. There, he's got a good number of Mermillo here. Merms are sick, man. Like, uh, Merms are scary. <laughs> yeah, Merms are so scary to fight against. They sure are, hence the throwing X-Men, but then the throwing X-Men get countered by the Terma as they get the bonus damage against those. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of gathering. The Oracle can kind of see this. But there's no way that Ulysses can leave his base anytime soon. That, mm. that gold mine over there, that's the lifeline. That is a lifeline, isn't it? Soup's what? What is Soup doing? He's chilling out and going for the manor instead. That's an interesting decision there. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ulysses breaking up his army there. Interesting. He almost took a lot of damage. It's a good thing. <laughs> Speaking of slipper units, dude. If there's a slipper unit, that's a Ranos units, man. Oh sure, they're so fast on top of everything else. You know, the pathfinding already lends itself to. Slipperiness, but oh, oh, citizen killer! Are you kidding me? That's actually so difficult to get in this early game with only just four raiding cav as well. Absolutely bonkers. The villagers are gonna defend themselves with kitchen knives, and the wolves are pretty good at chasing this. Like they're not quite as fast as uh, Oranos Mermillo, but they're not far off at 4.8 speed. It's it's okay. Mm. Lions, yes, golden lions. This is what I live for. These and the monkeys. We need to see that more. <gasps> they kill a citizen! They kill two citizens! That's the third citizen kill in this game! Doesn't sound like much, but it's worth like nine villagers, man. That is such a blunder by Ulysses, man. He sends out his weak citizens onto the opposite side of that berry bush, the berry bushes. What a blunder! And now his army's kind of getting caught out as well. It's a good thing they're slippery. Hell yeah, dude, and this is not over. Soup's far from finished. He can get on either the villagers again, or just destroy this manor and get Ulysses actually housed. Although it's gonna have a cost. Gotta be careful, not overcommitting. But he can keep up the pressure for sure, that's, that's a given. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, Ulysses is holding on here, man. Despite like, despite the losses, he's still holding on. This is incredible, man. Aranos OP, eh? Another sure is. <laughs> Citizen is once again in trouble, fighting back with the kitchen knife. This is not ideal for Ulysses, man. His TC just doesn't Shh. cover the gold mine. He doesn't have a tower nearby either anymore, so. Huge issues, huge issues. If his buildings earlier 
would have protected this and he had the upgraded towers, you know, that would be nice, but too little, too late, another citizen goes down. Only two remain here on the gold mine. If one more dies, I wouldn't be shocked to see Ulysses tap out because then we'd be back to the beginnings of the classical age. Meanwhile, sweep on 34 villagers is pretty happy with his progress, I would say. Dude, this is, I'm not even joking. This is a dream come true, killing that many citizens against Uranos. It's a dream come true. I mean, Ulysses has that clutch gold mine on the right hand side that we've seen a couple of times. So he's staying alive, he's staying alive, but this is a dream come true for, for Soup. I, this is insane, man. This is insane. The lion's Ulysses... still going. That's my favorite part in all this. Adding the Prometheus is nice, but there are still Hersh here. So the Termite's job would be to try to snipe those and then the Prometheans can really go to work. But there's also Valkyries. So it's, oh my god, the villager kills. That's it. Five. Yeah. We're down to six villagers and it's almost five now. Ulysses cannot make any further villagers because he's having to spend his little wood that he has on farms. Those things are 200 apiece, that's not cheap. So if Oranos gets successfully rushed like this, oh, he dodges the last of the shots. Throwing Axemen are now at risk, so the mass term I could go to work. Maybe. Uh, you know what, actually, was a good Ulysses shockwave. Doesn't capitalize though. A shockwave yeah, is good, I mean, but no follow-up. Okay, yeah, yeah, good point. Dude, that citizen in there, that citizen's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I don't know what HP it's on, but I know it's like 1 it's or like 2 or 3 HP. Terrible, yeah, something extremely low. If it gets hit right by the house, throwing buddy. axes, it's toast. Oh, dude. There's four Valkyries now, Maiden. This is absolutely bonkers. So you could probably think about upgrading them soon into Shield Maidens. Okay, yes. 10 hit points on this thing. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he was just, he's on six wheels. He's probably yeah. gonna have to stop to, to get it. Oh, this gets found. That's huge. There's a Valkyrie nearby. <laughs> kitchen knives! <laughs> he can't run. <laughs> he can't escape. The kitchen knives will come for you. Oh my god, he's gonna... Yeah, that's six villager <laughs> citizen kills. Is it going to be seven? Seven citizen kills? This is insane, dude. This I insane. stopped counting, not going to lie. I'm just looking at this total count of five left and one of them and 10 HP. It's beyond crazy, man. It's about to go down to four. Ulysses is still holding on. The man does not give up. He shouldn't yeah. give up, right? It's a tournament. It's a... It's a Ranos. <laughs> it, it's a Ranos. So, uh, a comeback... Could be possible, maybe not anymore. 14 hit points on this boy. Wow. He made it back Saves home. It. Okay, okay, here it comes. Throwing axes. <laughs> oh! oh the garrison, but one attack did go through, Maiden. <laughs> one attack did go through, it's on six health. Two throwing axemen attacks left. That's all that's needed here. I can't, dude, this is insane. Look at the size of Ulysses' army. He's on five citizens. Are you kidding me? Yeah, man, the army is actually the as big as, it, as if he was full pop. <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude, yeah. That's the crazy yeah. part. Oh, the citizen is running away the wrong way. He didn't have passive stance enabled. So even though it's a hero and receiving reduced damage from the Valkyrie, yikes, that still hurt. Dude, half of the Ulysses economy is like in the hospital, like, <laughs> help me. A 10 HP, 6 HP, 14 HP. Help Dude, yeah, can I'm weak. <laughs> Dude, what is it going to do against these Valks? I mean, okay, fine, he has four hero terma, but still, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, who said that? The, those those sharp knives are from Fordor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Kobersh. They're Morgul blades. <laughs> they were. They were. What? Okay, so Naka. Hello. This is a dr this is a hello. This is a dream game for hot soup, dude. This is a dream game. <gasps> oh, he just what? picked up another. I looked away. One. I expected it will not happen, but it did happen. I'm checking like that's seven. the gold miners over there. Good number for yeah. suit. That is a uh, sick amount of villager kills, dude. 
What? 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 Sheltie uh, style! Throw everything! Throw the kitchen sink! Classical <laughs> Ragnarok! Let that sink in! <laughs> Wait, this is not a villager! It's going down! Oh, what a disaster! For Ulysses, he's done to four citizens, and that's it, he's out. Dude, what is that game? <laughs> Granted, this is one to one now. So, Ulysses <laughs> still has a chance for recovery here, more than one. But, yes. man, that's, ouch, that's got to hurt. Uh, okay, I know earlier I had a little, you know, Norse-gasm earlier with Norse, Norse. you know, playing Norse. It is what it is, it is what it is. Just let me have my moment, okay? Let me have my moment. Well, we what have about this one? Yes, dude! Yeah. Look at Nico, we have a third victory in a tournament, baby! Now... I don't care who gets third place, man. I don't care who gets third place, but I shall celebrate the Thor victory, man. I want two okay. things. Four wins and more than four games. <laughs> okay, classic matchup for Alfheim coming right up. Ulysses sticks with Oranos. He has not had enough. Maybe Super will come over to his base again and take his stuff. Maybe, maybe. Maybe um, not. In this matchup. <laughs> well, we got, I mean, we got Soup playing Hades over here in the red. So if he's going to go over to Ulysses' base and take his stuff, that would be sick. It's There's some potential with some Ares action. I don't think we're going to see it. <laughs> I wouldn't I wouldn't put it past Soup, though, man. Like, he's got the cojones to rush, uh, to rush Aranos as Thor. Yeah, man. You never know that... what he's capable of. Where's that Will going? No. Get out. What? What? It's not a veto. No, he already used his veto. This is a resignation. He but, uh, is Ulysses going to be a gentleman? No point playing this map. <laughs> he just gives Ulysses the win. Uh, yeah, no worries, Fofuxaki. It's, it's cool. He just had a really bad map spawn, and the scouting failed. That's the TLDR. Um, never, never found Hunt. The gold mine looked impossible, so he decided it's not worth playing. Um, I don't want to encourage this, but okay, let it, let it go. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got Iron Maiden's favorite map. He's all giddy about it, <laughs> as you'll soon find out. Ulysses is happy about this as well, playing a set. One of the better choices for this map, for sure. Absolutely. And I am giddy indeed. We got more Norse action. Soup's in the red. He picks Odin, baby. Oh, yeah. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Hell yeah. So, um, Odin. Fantastic pick here. Interesting that piggies didn't get involved in the whole uh, duplication thing. It was all the gazelles. So, pretty big patch available right at the beginning. Wait, they did get... Yeah, yeah, it did happen. Naka, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta intervene. You gotta look up in the middle of the map. There's two Ulfsarks picking off that priest right oh! now. Are you kidding me? That thing is He's done, not dude. He gets the rhino, but still, that priest is dead meat. Which Should means no more stuff. This is a great strategy. It's one of my personal favorites to see. Priest is gone. And guess what? The Ulfsarks, they do outrun the rhino, no problem. It's... Very realistic, right? Yeah. Wow. That is clutch, man. Ah, it's a good thing that, you know, Ulysses still got the one rhino. That's a that's an exceptional it's not a you know, it's not a very good trade off a, a priest for that one rhino. But it's some compensation, I suppose, for losing for losing the priest, you know. So not not the worst not the worst thing in the world. Could be worse, I guess you could say. It could be worse. Mm, Ulysses going with the Wall of Houses. I do generally like that. It helps protect the gold mine a little. Um, sure. you, you might require an additional wall up front though against Odin. It's, it wouldn't be outside of Soup's playbook to not build frontally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As we've seen several times, the man loves to do it, right? Yes. Um, I don't know. It's... I'm... <sighs> Man, I need to play more 1v1s these days. I'm not sure what 
what is the better play here? Um, you know, Soup likes to go aggressive. Um, if, if you, he has two ulf starts, so he can definitely scout Ulysses' side of the map. Ulysses got, you know, good gazelles over on the right-hand side, good gold. Left-hand side, there's a couple of hippos by the left side TC. So there could be some value that Soup can get from building forward and going aggressive, kind of like what we saw with the Thor game. But the big difference is that Ulysses has vision and shifting sands that he could potentially use. So, I mean, we see Soup, he's he's dropping his temple inside of his base. Okay, sure, yeah, no surprise there. Shifting sands is still a possibility, even though we don't have a priest and a bunch of converted animals um, on for Ulysses since his priest died. It's still a possibility, so it's kind of like, you know, do you, do you build forward and do you really risk it? If you get Shifting Sands in your base, your eco could completely fall yeah. apart. It's sketchy, man. Yeah, you're correct. And, you know, Anubis here is interesting for the classical fight reasons, right? You... Oh! <laughs> oh, you didn't, didn't see, see it that. yet. Sorry. Okay. Uh, well, it's in. It's in. Anubis is coming. Uh, the Shifting Sands would be the normal case. And yes. Which is why I assumed you were uh, talking <laughs> yes. about it. It's all good. Uh, Anubis... Is a bit longer term in the classical age. You're not gonna expect a TC grab, yeah. and you're gonna expect those Anubites running around, which might be chased by Valkyries though. So I'm not sure how actually good it is for them. Wait, Ulysses going forward? Is he still gonna try to grab a TC? That's bonkers, man. The Raven's gonna spot this yeah. immediately, although he gets the faster age up. He does, yeah. For, I mean, 60% Freya right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's not only going for a forward town center, he's going for a town center steal. Dude, that is bonkers. Well, maybe he can hold it with the snacks is what I'm thinking he's thinking. However, if Soup is thinking what I'm thinking he's thinking, then all these Hersiers will be prepared to counter that. He's going for his own town center, man. So he's not trying to, de nope. to deny. But he oh. can see it. That's the weird part, the raven. Okay, I guess getting your own just kind of means that. Uh, it's all good, right? Uh, Is it I mean, though? I guess. Yeah. Maybe not. Is it? Well, what's really good for you, Lissy's going to Nubis, I think, is a good idea because um, Soup's, Soup's base, I know you mentioned the Valks potentially chasing after the Anubites. It takes quite a while to actually get all the favor to actually spawn a second um, Valkyrie. I don't know if that's, I mean, it's not a reliable defense against Anub Anubites, especially if Ulysses actually goes for the Anubite spam. I'm not sure if he's going to go for the spam just yet. But the, the base is so open for Soup. Like it's it's open a big open area on the front right side is open left side is open, it's a new bite. This is going to be rough, I think, for soup to handle. Odin doesn't have Forseti, so those hers are man. It's it's slow. It takes too long to get enough Valks to try and counter it. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, you have to keep in mind that these Anubites are extremely cheap, right? Hundred food. Yeah. You think that's yeah. gonna be a problem of watering hole? <laughs> yeah, nope. Exactly. Oh, the <laughs> snacks! They laugh in the face of danger. Look at this. The hearse here. <laughs> Actually, gonna clap him pretty easy oh. there. Uh, With the new bite. Getting Gets all the those. Arc. That's nice. That's nice. And there's enough snacks to still kind of take care of the hearse here, but only for a while. There's enough of them to clean up altogether. Pharaoh with the machine gun, however, targeting them, them down as best as he can. Ulysses doesn't need to gather any wood, mind you. It's just um, gold and food eco. Pharaoh exactly. gets picked off, however. Oh, come on, man. One help. Oh, my <laughs> God. No. Purser are even just a teensy is bit faster, but not fast enough, I guess. Ouch. No way. One health. Well, it's definitely worth making a priest for this. <laughs> no, really. Okay, well, I mean, delicious amount of rhino meat um, there in the center of the map for Ulysses. Soup is on hippo meat himself, or just starting to be so. I don't know, man, this is looking really sick for Ulysses. Like you mentioned, dude, he doesn't even need to go to wood yet. 
all he needs, like, uh, for the next little bit, he just needs, I mean, you could just go straight up a Nubites and, you know, axes, handful of spears eventually if you really need to. This is rough. This is, uh, this is rough being in soup spot. Ulysses is, in my opinion, he's in a great spot here, man. Hey, there is a priest. So that could come over when I... Oh, there is another one. Two priests, better than one, confirmed. Wait, where is the Valkyrie? Did it die? No, it was... Oh, it's home. It's almost dead, though. So it was it was doing some whatever over in Ulysses' base that, yeah. you know, was not important. <laughs> and now, after all this, you know, Ulysses is ahead by 10 villagers. So that's not nothing. Yeah. He's getting Necropolis. A, I believe it's a 30% improvement. Let's check it. Uh... A favor income? 30% favor income, that's right. Wow. Huge buff. Huge. And now the Perseer are in trouble. I would yes. like to see a few spears to deal with the raiders. Oh. Great pick off. That's two Anubites dead? No, just the one. Just the one. Yeah, it looked like two, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that is huge, man. That is huge. Every single Anubite pick you can get is is incredible, man. Hang on a second, Naka. So look at the look at the um, economies of between the two guys. Soup is about ready to click up heroic. Does he have an armory by chance? Uh, Not... negatory. Okay. I don't know what his production is like, but it it almost it looks like he's trying to go heroic. I agree, and he should go heroic. That's really the saving grace for him if he can do it. Because this is problematic. Fighting classical Egyptian is not the easiest once they get to high population counts. Not with Norse. Yeah. Look, those slingers, they absolutely shut down the throwing axemen. So you have nothing against the mass infantry. So what do you do? Uh, it's, it's really rough. awkward. You get out those frost giants. You get out those those Jarl. And suddenly it's a little bit problematic for, G for the Egyptian. It, Whole thing turns upside down. Uh, yeah. That's exactly where you want to be. Well, okay. I mean, two town centers for both players. There isn't really any hunt left over for... Oh, Soup actually just found... He's got the gold mine on that far left corner. He found a couple of elephants, which might... It looks like he's going to hunt them right now. Right of the nick of time. He's got some hunt on the right-hand side as well, so... Eh, his economy is okay. He can't quite match the same amount of hunt that Ulysses has with all the map control in the center, but it is something. It's it is something for him. I had a thought, Naka. Speaking of the hunt and the food income, Soup is up heroic. He's on two town centers. Mm -hmm. This is not my style at all, but. Is there any way he could rush Mythic and go for a decent Balder time? Maybe, although it seems to me he's investing right now. This might be yeah, a longer-term play. I, I yes. think normally, yes. The answer is a flat-out yes, because, you know, you, you get to those 60, 70 villagers and then clicking in Ragnarok is actually quite threatening. I would like oh. that play. That's a good oh. forest fire as well, doing so much damage. Of course, Egypt, uh, you can... Heal up your army with priests. But the villagers, you don't Damn. replace them that easily. Plus their idol, man. Plus their idol. Absolutely. And you know, these are not normal cavalry. They actually have thundering hoofs, but they're still not medium. So <laughs> the kitchen knives are a big issue for them. Uh, villagers I also can something. be healed up. No problem. Well, that was sick. I think soup stayed there too long, man. I don't, I don't know if that was worth it, losing basically all of his reigning cavalry to that. Yeah, and there's really not much left. So now that investment into the um, cavalry and thundering hoofs, not that effective, but you can get some Jarls, and those are effective as well. Would love to see it. Yeah. Okay. Villager difference is pretty much the same, man. Or I guess there is no difference. Big difference in the resources, however. So speaking of, 
Boom. Yep. Speaking of going up Mythic early, we actually have Mythic from Ulysses. Wow. Okay. Um, this is an interesting dynamic, by the way, when you said that the villagers are even... That is because Ulysses has been maxing out his barracks units. So he's literally stuck on full population, can't make villagers because of it. So even though he was ahead for the longest time, just to the nature of the population limits, he gets caught up with. Mm-hmm. So population He's even over mechanic, his population. Yeah, any <laughs> RTS with population, you have to think about it as a comeback mechanic. If you leave your opponent alone, they'll catch up with you. Yeah. Okay. Now those villagers are weak sauce. The, ra the raiders, sorry, the yaws actually running after them would be great. They're 5.28 speed, thanks to Thundering Hoofs. That's pretty good. Yes. There's a, I think there's a window of opportunity here where Soup with stronger, with those hill fort units, I think there's an opportunity for him to take really good fights, especially since he has Frost to counter the potential ancestors. Tornado's gonna hurt though. I'm not sure what would be more valuable for, for Ulysses to use Tornado on the two hill forts, maybe a town center. I'm not quite sure. TC is now up for soup, so if he's thinking about Mythic, um, soon would be a good time. <laughs> there was also a huge threat of Tornado there, picking up all those throwing axes, by the way, but... Not gonna happen just yet. Yeah. I'm sure Ulysses can force the engagement somehow. Well, it looks like he's about to, dude. Siege works, Migdol, they're in the center. Oh my god, look at that! <sighs> all those throwing axes! Actually not gonna get hurt because the rest of the units were also getting damaged. Caps out the tornado and now the Avenger can really go to town on this army. Just need to not get it frozen by the Frosty, but that's going to happen. Easier said than done, of course. That's like half of it. What? Ooh. That's like half of an army right there, dude. Because of all the HP damage, it's almost like he has half of an army. Exactly. Ancestors and getting used. The minions will take care of the throwing axes. That's just a very easy job for them, and they should absolutely go for it. That's the right kind of target for them right now. Nice. So by the time that Ulysses needs here, the hill fort isn't going to get built because of this, actually. Although, Dude, fighting the hurts here, that's tough. Yeah, but still, I think it's, I think it's worthwhile because... I don't think the hillfort is going up. 13 seconds left in the frost. I don't know if the hillfort's going to go up. I don't know if Soup's going to keep this position right here once frost is done. Just a few seconds left and there's a huge edgy classical army here, right? Yeah, there goes the hillfort. Nope. There goes the frost giant. There goes all of his units, dude. That was a weird play by Soup in my opinion. Really weird play there. Okay. Just like that, Soup loses town centers. Uh, town center. He does have fortified TCs, so there's only a five total population difference. 140 compared to 145. Hey, we got great yards. Exactly. Heavy host car. This is a great composition to take this all on with, but you know the X Men in the front still creating a little bit of trouble for the infantry. Yeah. More hill force will be needed. I like winter harvest coming in. Yes. Farm switch, good idea. Yeah, the fa um the 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 great what's it the heavy heavy cavalry upgrade, um that's clutch. If if you're not if you're not planning on going mythic anytime soon and investing that 400 food, it's totally worth it. Especially against Egyptian man, it's tough for Eggy to um to handle these to handle these jarls man, especially with thundering hooves. Makes it that much harder. Look at this fight here. It's not going all that well for Ulysses, I have to say, but the Siege Towers had a good amount of pierce damage to this. Now the Huskar, however, jump on top and they're gonna make short work of them. Yeah. Soup's dropping another hill fort, dude. He's got one, two, three hill forts producing. A fourth one on the way. Okay, fine, he doesn't have the third town center, but. Still, the population's okay. He's able to take good fights, man. Ulysses can't stay popped, even though he has 160 pop space. Yeah, man, now 
And bear in mind, guys, soup can make more villagers. It says 81. Norse has dwarf limits as well as villager limits, and uh, that's 80 and 40, respectively. Yeah. So you can go up to 120 if you somehow manage. It's difficult, and all that would make for a big Ragnarok, though. Absolutely, man. Okay. Uh, what what can Ulysses do here, dude? What can Ulysses do? Soup's taking the town center. He's got crazy production, super strong um, hill fort units. What I really like What's... here, Maiden, is the Scorpion Man edition. So that yes. will help a lot against all these infantry units who don't have a whole lot of hack armor. Uh, the Yar are a problem. So gotta be really careful with these chariots, for sure. Uh, more barracks units needed as well. Dude, the... Horus axes and spears are so strong. Would love to see more of those. Um, but as soon as he went to heroic, he kind of stopped making the barracks units. I, I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. Granted, those mythic age upgrades are not cheap from Horus. Yes. So that's 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 the thing that you go. Yeah. Spear on the horizon, 300 gold, 30 favor. Um, where is greatest of 50? There it is. 300 food, 40 favor. Where are you gonna get that from? <laughs> I think I think that, you know, he went, as you said, um, Ulysses went so heavy into the barracks unit play, which was looking so strong until the, um, you know, until the hill fort unit started kicking in for soup. Then it became super sketchy. Now, the barracks units drain the eco, man. Ulysses was able to click up super fast into Mythic, but he doesn't quite have a solid economy. He's just right. he's got some farms, but Look he doesn't have is... the eco to produce this. Yeah, he's still on plow, dude. Yeah. Hence the low eco. Now this Migdor is gonna be knocked down. Soup is on 93 villagers and climbing. <sighs> Ulysses knows that that's gonna be the case. He has to give up. Wow. Very well done by well Soup. Done. Coming back in the series now. That makes it a 2-2 score. Might go to 7 games, although the r one one still doesn't count in my eyes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, Soup said it's a resignation and a loss, so we're gonna roll with it. Okay. Um, maybe in future tournaments we'll create an admin override rule. However, I don't want to make up rules on the spot. Hence, we are where we are. Man, Naka, this game, I really, really liked Ulysses' decision to go forward and steal that town center. Just because all of, all of the food that it gave him in the center, there's so many rhinos. Yes. Um, and he made that giant army, but he wasn't quite able to take advantage of his giant army. Yeah, man, it's the farm um, transition. You lose that hunt income, which is absolutely bonkers, and then you switch to plow farms, and suddenly, oh, it's this is actually not that great, you know? Yeah. Well, then eventually, like I said before, eventually the um, the heavy raiders, the heavy cavalry coming in, that was you know, not necessarily the nail in the coffin, but I think that was super nice, dude. Super nice. It really gave. It really asked. What? How should I say this? Like it. 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 It, it was something that Ulysses didn't have an answer to because of that eco difference. He lost the hunt suddenly. Everything was in hunt. He lost that hunt. Didn't have the farms. Didn't have the food doesn't have the you know in eco to upgrade the upgrade the barracks units and you know just like that he can't handle the spears or sorry the spears can't handle the um the hill fort units yes sir okay we had a bit of a crash but hopefully that will not go out of sync again whatever triggered it seems to not do so this time as we're 10 seconds past where we already were so me hope it's all okay. Me I too. like a lot that about Gaia here in this matchup specifically that you get your dock deconstructed, but your villager is by the shore gathering the wood from your Gaia trees. This is actually very clean and convenient. Yeah, Just no problem at spot. all. Citizens build pretty darn quickly as well. I mean, that took like what, 10, like 15, oh, yeah. max 20, 20 seconds of um, in game time. Like, that's no problem at all. Yeah, a lot more annoying for the other civs here. You can kind of yeah. live with it. Um, Ulysses, yeah. in fact, is behind in fishing ships despite all this. That's the crazy part. 
Well, so, okay. Um, here's, here's what I'm thinking, Naka. The eco for soup, for Gaia, I guess. The eco for Gaia might be really sick. Right. Um, and with, eh, with like Gaia trees, you know, the Gaia forest, you can have like a reliable source of food, blah, blah, blah. Gold could maybe be a problem. Ulysses with Kronos, we could yes. maybe see in, instead of like time shift and blah, 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 pressuring the docks, yada, yada, yo. Instead of that, we could actually see the gold harassment on Soup's gold. That's a forward gold mine, man. That's no bueno. Yeah. And it's not very well defended by that tower that's the worst part of it so really what yeah. you said if Ulysses starts time shifting forward his temple and other business then you know setting up shop right in front of the gold mine is exactly what you need to do yeah absolutely man so I mean it'll be interesting and actually Ulysses sees that with this oracle he sees it with this oracle so he sure knows does. he knows what's up also, if Ulysses does go for the gold play here, he just clicked up, I think, by the way. Yes, he did. Yes. If he does go for the um, gold play here, the thing is, is that Soup has another gold mine, which, <laughs> which he's already gathering from with he... the citizen. What is that all? <laughs> well, he already knows he's in trouble. Because, yes. you know, these guys, they know exactly how the game is going to play out based on the positioning of resources. So he's already mapped out the next five minutes in his head and he knows that he can't go there. So really it's on Ulysses now to determine that, hey, there's no gold miners. You can't do that. <laughs> and really just figuring out what the next step is. What would Soup do that I'm not seeing right now is the thinking that needs to happen in Ulysses' head. Yeah. Well, you know what? Soup has already done a bunch of extra docks. He's currently a little bit housed, however. That's problematic. Yes. Was. Was housed. Okay. Oracle's incoming. Here we go. Lost of Promethean. Ulysses. Ouchies. Yeah. Ulysses isn't even thinking about going water. I mean, I guess maybe he's going to make a couple of Byremes just in case, but I think he's mainly going to be focusing on land. Yeah, you see he's producing counter barracks and barracks inside of his base. Probably going to be time shifting those over. Um, yep, there we go. He's going for the gold control. Good, good, uh, good choice in my opinion. And he sees the citizen dude on the left hand side. Really big this issue. This could be a fast game. You really don't want those fast games this late into the series, right? It's very demoralizing. Especially because one of those already has happened, so... Certainly don't want to see it again. Now, UFCs has completely transitioned his economy away from food gathering on land, which is very standard. He's got a good amount of fishing ships, but nowhere near what our Gaia player has. 16 fishing ships! But how can you really utilize this? You can only really make villagers, man. That's a huge issue. Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> what? <laughs> and there come the Terma. Soon the military barracks getting added. You know, Ulysses has more than enough resources to also make Mermillo. It's totally fine. It's not gonna be any naval attacks either. That servant, not particularly potent. More of a healer than a... More than a lover than a fighter. Dude, like I'm not even I'm not even looking at water at all. I'm just wondering how in the world is Soup gonna keep like have gold income? He snuck a villager up on the top side, by the way. But it looks like the oracles are gonna find it. Oh, dude, that is brutal. Well, yeah. Oh, Ulysses is using the brain power, man. He's thinking ahead, <laughs> predicting the moves. Yeah. Speaking of using his brain power, dude, he deconstructs oh. the manor. So now Soup is housed hardcore and the villagers are exposed on the gold mine. Verily. Are you kidding me? And you know, Soup actually tried to heal that citizen up there. But before the healing could ramp up, the villager died. Very unfortunate. But yeah, basically the trick is you passive stance the villager or whatever unit you want. Uh, and then you get them healed. So 10 times rate. Very good wow. trick. But anyway, the villagers are dying, so enough about that. Soup is in so much trouble. 
Is... Is it... Game over? <laughs> well... If there was a bunch of villagers on all the gold mines, I would say it's too early to call it, but there's not. Soup is in yeah. so much trouble, dude. How is he gonna defend this? Look, Ulysses instantly spots that this is happening. He never had a chance to sneak out. You know, what he could do is get a transport ship and literally ferry across to the other side of the map. That's the only <laughs> hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna spend, you know, five minutes of game time tra sailing across <laughs> the Midgard Sea and pray that Ulysses doesn't figure it out. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's, I, it's, it's, it seems like it's GG, man. I kind of expected you or er, Soup to use one of his Gaia forests on the forward gold on his, you know, starting gold mine to try and help protect that. Man, but now he... two more villager losses. This is an absolute disaster. Look at this. So, Ulysses is up thirteen citizens to nine, and you you just know half of those are on gold. That's the biggest part of their job, really. Yeah. <laughs> Carnivora, come on. Let's go. <laughs> That's abuse. That would have been useful earlier. Not gonna lie. Yes. Bear in mind, you can heal the Carnivora. So this collector you better get to work fast. Uh, the hero <laughs> term, however, will make short work of it. I, I think this is it, not good. I think this is, this has got to be it, right? This has got to be it. I vote for yes. Like, without the transport ship trick, this ain't going to happen, man. <laughs> Even with it, it would have been a horrible, horrible situation to be in. You know, it's fairly easily found out. Ulysses would just send one unit to each gold mine. Um, there's uh, not much escaping that you can do here. I don't get it, man. Like I was saying before, I've seen Gaia picked quite a bit here on Midgard. I just don't get it. I think I think Gaia's lost pretty much every time I've seen her be been played on Midgard. So I still don't get it, but you know, I'm sure somebody's gonna make it work eventually. Yeah, eventually. If it's not so boomy and more defensively minded, then I could maybe see it. You know, it's certainly not impossible, but it is hard, and it will take some strategic development there. Back to the start. This is also Soup's last life. So he really needs to make that count. Could Loki be the answer? Maybe. Maybe He's doing Loki's his weird build again, on... Maiden. He's doing the weird build. <laughs> Just soup things, man. Just soup things. He freaking <laughs> made a dwarf, dude. Anyway, what's on the other side? Well, we already saw the Catascopa scout. Um, so we know Greek is in for Ulysses. He's going Zeus here. He's going Zeus here. Um, remember, Ulysses is, at least I don't know about you, but to me, he's known to be a Zeus player. Um, he's diversified a lot recently, but, um, you know, he's he's one of the top Zeus players, so... By all means, Soup is one of the top Norse players, Ulysses is one of the top Zeus players. This is going to be a battle for sure. This is going to be a battle for sure. Yep, very classic matchup, you know, it can definitely go either way, but if Zeus really establishes themselves... Uh, very tough one, and the goldmine locations really don't lend themselves to our Loki player here. Soup is looking around with pigs to find something in the back. Well, I'm sorry, that's just a hill. Not particularly helpful for either player. It's there nonetheless. The goldmines are so far away, man. Sounds like a beginning of a power metal song. <laughs> oh, I like that. No, yeah, you're right. Um, I mean, I'm sure the, I'm sure since Soup's gold mines are far away, it's probably going to be the same story for Ulysses. So, you know, there's, I guess, there's potential for Loki to do some some serious harassment. That's the thing, is that on a map like this, I mean, it, just looking over at Ulysses' side, all the hunt is forward. Um, all the hunt is forward. He's he's scouting behind. Oh, not all the hunt. He's got an Ulysses has an elephant in the back of his base. That's sick. Oh okay. boy, <laughs> secured by the TC as well. Is this the kind yeah. of thing that makes you want to go two TCs? I, I guess know, with man. more secure Against... gold, maybe, but not like this. 
Well, against Loki, against Loki, it's sketchy, it's risky, but it, you know, it, it can happen, it can happen. It's a little bit sketchy though, because all the rest of his hunt is so exposed. So he's already gonna have villagers forward. Um, there's the zebras in the middle where he's at right now. I would actually, the, the right, if he's gonna go for a second town center and go risky, the back town center is easier to take, I suppose. It's less risky, but the forward one might be a little bit better with all those zebra on it. Well, there's always to play with the cojones and take the front TC where Soup is making the temple. <laughs> Secure the gold with that, but probably not going to happen. What? Soup just clicks up through Heimdall. No Forseti. Against I Zeus. Yeah, wow. Uh, oh, okay. That is interesting. Granted, that is surprising. Ulysses didn't go for the archaic hero, which is something I would, I would say, should be a systematic thing that you just do every time against Loki. Taking a bit of a risk there, but you know the villagers can kitchen knife the Hersers before classical is reached. You also have Bolt available. Don't have to worry about the fast myth unit like the Valkyrie. Mm -hmm. So maybe you just bolt one of the Hersiers. It's a perfectly viable yeah. play. It's exactly what's going to happen. Look how he baited them in. He waited all the way until they were both here. Getting some kitchen <laughs> knife stabs in as well. This is nice. Sure. Soup does see the zebras over on the right hand side. Almost up through Athena. What I'm not convinced by though is splitting up the villagers into two groups against Norse. They kind of make for easy pickoffs, right? But when you have eight villagers in the same place, those horses are not particularly threatening. Not until their yeah. numbers are quite high. Yeah, for sure. Or or if there's like you know myth units in with them or something yeah. like that. The archer oh. range is gonna get nuked down, however. Minotaur and Hero together going after the Hersier. Is that going to be actually enough without the Minotaur dying? Dying looks like it. But also the military academy goes down also takes one moment of the undermine damage. Dude, Ulysses has no buildings. <laughs> I mean, he has no buildings, but still the, the heroes are so sick that yeah. he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. That's very true. He's even going back out to those zebras, dude. Are you kidding me? You know, if those would have been a little bit more defensive buildings, he would have kept them, kept one of them alive. You can't undermine them, yeah. two spread out buildings when they're made in the base. Yeah, 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 agreed. Dude, so does he have, where, okay, so it's back on his wood line. He dropped him back in his wood line. We've got hoplites coming out. All right. Yeah, this that's is something. That's sustainable now. We've got five hers here. It's problematic still, but there's no healing spring. There's no healing whatsoever. Yeah. Every point of damage that you do against these hers here is permanent. So that is Ulysses' lifeline. He's got to be really careful with these villas, man. Some of them are already weak. Oh. The heroes are out of position. Where are they going? I th they were going to the hunt, man. But oh boy, they changed their mind pretty quickly. Yeah, that's tough. Every time you make a decision that you have to revert on, it's a huge pain point. Sure. Can Ulysses keep the zebra, this hunt spot, man? It doesn't look like it, dude. No, we I think of we're going here. potentially to a game seven. This is devastating already. And I'm sure that Soup will follow this up with some kind of blockage against those villagers. They cannot escape from this. There's no way. Uh, the Iron Harrier is boosting the units. This is bonkers. What was that? Two, three dead villagers just like that? And another Ulysses one. is... And another one. Ulysses is ahead... Or sorry, behind in villagers. Which shouldn't That's happen, no... right? Because Norse it's... has to make Oxcart. And he starts with one fewer villagers. And dwarves take longer to make than normal villas. So he's already made ten of those. That's an extra Greek wheel right there. 
Well, I mean, by all means, like the Greek has to make heroes out of the town center in classical, but so there's, there's a, you know, it's a little bit mitigated, but still that's, you know, that, that this is huge for soup kicking him off of hunt it's a good thing there's that elephant and gazelle on the backside, man ulysses goes for it it's a good thing <laughs> yeah now you gotta be really careful with those raiding cab if they hit the archers when the hoplites aren't around that's they're gonna make quick work of him 80 pop yep. to 54 yikes that's a big difference um we to check on the relics Okay. We got the Mithril Horseshoes, so that would be nice for the calf. And we got the Monkey Head, which is nice for uh, the viewers, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really useful. <laughs> Man, Ulysses needs to be careful here, dude. He seems to be playing a little bit too... I don't know how to explain it. Ballsy isn't quite the cat Reckless? Seems like he's playing a little bit too reckless. Um, you know, sending his heroes away like he did early on, sending, you know, this small army out as uh, almost getting caught out. He's maybe playing a little bit too reckless. Super's looking really good here, man. The population is so big difference. <laughs> Eat big. <laughs> Hey, what are all those hidden houses for soup? <laughs> the new strat? <laughs> yes. Love it's a new development. Oh, oh my god, the raiding cab! Okay, okay, there's another gap. But they're wiggling, what's going on? <laughs> that was a struggle, but they got out. Oh, that them. could have been much worse, man. Imagine two hoplites blocking the path on the way out. Yes. Well, so here's the thing, Naka, here's the thing. There, there's still a restoration. This is an interesting fight here. Hey, I'll... Needs to take the restoration fight. There's no way out of this. The Norse army too big, but restoration allows him to do some pickups. This is exactly what our Greek player needed. And all of a sudden, with a bunch of dead throwing X-Men on the way out, the population is a lot more equal. This is now quite manageable, Maiden. It is, it is. I was just going to say that the, the restoration is the, you know, next big turn in the game, how he uses restoration. It did a lot of damage by all means. Like, this is a very healthy army that Ulysses has. Still behind on population. He's still housed. He's still, you know, struggling for food. I think it's still, you know, a bit of a sketchy position for Ulysses here. Yes, but every time those throwing X-Men expose themselves, the Tuxoli just picked him off. And so far, so much damage has been delivered to this Norse army who's constantly trying to posture, but never quite finds their stride. Mm -hmm. Every time they take damage, it stays now. Unless the Hercer spawn of Akari. Exactly, yeah. That could happen. It could happen. Ulysses goes back out to the zebras, man. He's he's desperate for food. He is desperate for food. He hasn't picked or picked any of his berries, I guess you could say. He's got a couple of pigs. So he doesn't have to be out on those zebras again. Oh. Is he playing reckless, bro? What is he doing oh. sending his talks out like that? What was that? The raiding cab are getting on top. Really dealing a lot of damage right now. Not many kills just yet. Maybe you can shuffle the hoplites forward or something. Uh... Ah, oh, that hurts, that hurts. Medium Cav is coming in, so better take the fight before that happens. Easy for me to say. Of course, Ulysses yeah. has no idea. That information is not revealed to him. Ah, the this talks are not getting job. hit. Sorry. <laughs> There's the Valk, by the way. There's the Valk. The talks nice. weren't getting hit. That was good micro by Ulysses, but still. Population is good for soup, man. I guess it is kind of equals population right here. Those, that ball of talks are not getting touched, man. Holy this is a huge moly. fight for Ulysses. But meanwhile, that Valkyrie has been bullying the villagers, right? No! The one villager has escaped all the way to the north. And suddenly, Soup does not have an army. Ulysses is ahead. He kills another Iron Harrier. He pulls away the villagers. He's going back to the original zebra. Well, I'm sorry. There's only one zebra left. So are we going to pull the kitchen knives out? Uh, going into the next zebra spot, maybe? Might well happen here. 
Oh, gotta be careful. They are so weak, though. Fifty wood to He's take. Playing with fire. <laughs> Dude, that fight. Man, do you see what is? You see what I'm saying? He's playing a little bit reckless with the talks. It was not working out before. It's you know maybe gonna work out here just because Soup lost that fight. Dude, that fight was a bad, bad idea for Soup to take. I agree. Uh, I agree, and this is gonna get real bad, real fast. There's 10 hoplites here, man. They can take down the temple. The Toxodes can kind of handle themselves. In fact, they're idling another villager group. Now, the remaining hunters are going after the uh, elephant, actually, which wrecks the ox cart's face. It's down to 40 health. Dude, what a turn of events in this game. Soup was looking so sick, but now Ulysses is killing the production buildings. He has a second group of zebras. Soup's on the back foot here, man. The game is not over. Game's not over. Soup still has a good looking army. A couple of longhouses left over, but still, that was that's exactly what Ulysses needed right there, man. That that uh, winning a fight like that is exactly what he needed. Whoa, 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 once again taking the big fight, man. There's two Iron Harriers and they're blowing their horn at the same time, which is actually not great. They don't stack. You have to stagger them to get the maximum effect. It is going to be enough to force a retreat from Ulysses, however, which is the whole point. As long as that can happen, Soup is back in this game and oh, oh. how much he is back in this. Look at all those villagers, they could get all trapped completely. Are you kidding me? What is he doing? Oh, no, 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 no. This is a disaster for Ulysses. Actually, been worse. not that bad. That could have been much worse, dude. If Soup wow. instantly reacts. Wow, those villagers would all be toast right now. But now we're back to a relatively even game. Sarissa getting upgraded? Are you kidding me? Yeah. When do you ever see that in the classical age? I love it. I mean, I, I think that should be the meta that you keep getting these upgrades, but... Uh, <laughs> it's beside the point what I want. Dude. Catching the RC. Nice. Nice by Ulysses. Dude, we've had another little turn. Soup is back in this game. It was looking sketchy, but he's back in this game. Well, it seems like we're on even ground here, man. Seems like we're on even ground. Very much so. There's still a bunch of raiding calf here. So, you know, you gotta be careful with the talks moving out like that. Again... It's not the yes. first time, and yep. it's probably not the last time. Ulysses is a little bit too comfortable with doing this. Soon, he's going to have to worry about the second golden man. If he loses the army one more time to this mass raiding calf, the villas are not going to be safe. Look how out of position. Okay, fine. The hoplites are up on the gold mine on the top side, but <gasps> he smokes. It's fortunately for Soup, this is a small group. There's another one. That's a little bigger, also gathering gold, and meanwhile the Toxodes have been chased all the way to base. It's exactly where Soup wants Ulysses to stay for now. If Norse can gather freely on the map, uh, then they'll be reaching Heroic first, and, you know, Loki. Flaming weapons, of course, will be the yeah. play. Dude, he's taken the fight in the base of Ulysses! Does he have the copper shields upgrade? No! Nope, and Are it's you also not on the me? way. The Toxodes can just keep garrisoning into this TC and they'll be fine essentially forever. The TC <laughs> has more than enough firepower to take care of things by itself. So, I really don't like him taking this fight and two Minotaurs are getting pumped out because it's all RC and throwing axes, right? So those can't really do all that much work. The Einheria is getting picked off by the hero and that's a great defense by Yuli. Um, Soup, he seems to be kind of giving up halfway here. Dude, that wasn't good defense by Ulysses. Soup just threw away his army. Simple sure. as that. <laughs> he just suicides his army, dude. Like, fine, okay, he killed a couple of villagers, killed a couple of talks. Yeah, but he just lost his whole army, dude. He's down on 66 population. Why? That was well over a thousand resources each. Or at least dude. it felt like it. So, definitely a brutal loss. Really don't want to taking, be taking those kind of fights. Uh, the Minotaurs are also a huge issue. This is going to force out Hersir again. These are not for Seti Hersir, so they're weak sauce compared. Yeah. 
Dude, that was... A, I think that was a bad decision by Soup. That was a bad decision by Soup. He looked so sick, maybe gonna pick out the pick off the tox, and then boom, his army just loses his entire arm his entire army. What in the world, dude? He's Finds the gold mine. Gold as well. Finds the gold mine. That's yeah. the tough part for Soup. How does he hold all this? Once Ulysses maxes out, that's really heaven for Greek to be in. Such a good spot, and all these Toxodes just balled up around the longhouse. There's almost no surface area to attack them through, and even if there was, dude, Ulysses just took the bronze match. What a victory! What? Wow, definitely had to be a nervous moment for Soup there to try to attack that. He must have strongly overestimated his ability to take that army. Imagine if that had been a fight by the villagers, though. You know, you force the villagers, yeah! force the Toxodes back, you have a million raiding cavalry, upgrade to medium, you put them in this uh, gold mine area, which is the only spot that was left. You know, did Soup actually spot that one? Does he know about it? We can't check on Vubli, but maybe you've seen it. I don't know. Same. I'm just in shock. What if he's never seen it? Then he would have been thinking that, hey, you see, you don't have gold mines. What you gonna do now? I'm gonna dive your army. That could have been the thinking process. But meanwhile, Ulysses is out there happily gathering away. Brutal, man. Brutal. Okay, I, I, even if even if Soup scouted the gold mine, it did not look like he was looking for a gold starve. He just kept going for the army. Going for the army, going for the army, going for the army. He didn't even like try to go look for gold mines. Like there's there's gold options over on the right hand side. He right. didn't even like try he didn't looking check for the rest. gold. You're right. You're right. So regardless whether or not he saw the gold mine, he wasn't seemingly he wasn't even looking for gold man. He was just trying to kill the kill the tox, the ball of tox of Ulysses. Dude, what? Crazy stuff. Anyways, huge congratulations to Ulysses for taking third place in the Wisdom of Todd tournament. Takes home 200 yeah. bucks. And Soup still doesn't walk away empty handed. 100 bucks for him. Great stuff, yes. great tournament. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.